What's up y'all welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title today's video I'm gonna be sharing at showing you guys how I can create a full beat using only drugstore products um, So everything in this video is gonna be totally affordable. Do not gotta go to Sephora literally just go to Walmart go to Ulta Walgreens CVS whatever you choose You can beat your face and I'm gonna show you how so if you're interested then please keep on watching I thought why not show you guys how to beat your face on a budget because I'm on a budget right now I know a lot of people probably are as well and I feel like sometimes a lot of people think that it's necessary to have like expensive like products to have like a good outcome and that's just not true so I'm gonna show y'all some of my favorite drugstore products not a damn thing in this video is gonna be high-end because I got y'all and I'll have like prices on the screen too or I'll try don't hold me accountable to that but yeah let's get started i'm not gonna lie y'all i was about to scream because i was like i don't have any drugstore eyebrow pencils like i literally just said not a damn thing in this video would be high end and i was like but i'm never lacking so for eyebrows i'm gonna be using a product that i honestly think is pretty underrated because i haven't heard like a lot of people talk about this but this is the um elf instant brow lift pencil looks a little crusty because i use this for like my brow gel and stuff um and honestly this is a little bit dark but if you just like go with a light hand or something then you should be fine so that's what i'm about to do right now and i'm just gonna lightly fill in because like i said this is a little dark my eyebrows are growing back so they're getting a little bushy so if they're not IG on fleek batty brows just leave me alone okay thanks I told y'all this hoe is dark I told y'all so now that they look bushy as the fuck and disgusting I'm gonna conceal them with my favorite concealer um this is the Maybelline fit me honestly I feel like I haven't gotten around to trying like too many concealers out there but this one's just so good that I just like I really just like it so I just keep buying it but I don't know maybe there are better concealers out there or there probably are but I'm just like why fix what's not broken you know and I also bought like four last time I got some new ones so I really don't feel like spending money on concealer until this runs out I'm just gonna be taking this on my OG BH Cosmetics brush it looks like this it's literally so B it's um number nine from their like rose gold collection I've been using this brush for like this I think was one of the first brushes I ever owned. I stole it from my sister. Anyways, now I'm just gonna conceal. I feel like this is so important because look at this. Ugh. I just need to get my eyebrows done, honestly. All right, guys, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for. Oh no, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. But doesn't that look so much better? For today's video i am a bit on a time crunch so i'm not going to be doing eyeshadow but that's not because i don't like drugstore eyeshadow i have plenty of drugstore eyeshadow palettes like ColourPop has really good ones however i don't have the time today because i'm about to go to dinner soon and i just wanted to do like eyeliner like a little cute basic look you know so that's what i'm gonna be doing but i am just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids regardless because as you can see they're veiny like hella veiny so, I'm just gonna dab a little bit on there and blend it out. Um, I don't know, I would consider Morphe a drugstore brand. I think their prices are pretty affordable, um, especially for the quality of their product. So, yeah, but I'm using a Morphe brush. But, anywho, I'm just gonna blend this in now. Don't mind me. Okay, so because I'm not doing eyeshadow, I do need something to set the um, concealer in place so that it doesn't, you know, crease throughout the night. So I'm going to be applying this Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. A little luxury, but it's drugstore. Um, in the shade Banana. And some might say this is not my shade. But we're going to do it anyway. Pokemon we ball. Sorry, I don't mean to use so much profanity. I know I have children watching this. My children I mean like my cousins anywho so I'm just gonna take some of this banana powder and just like am I tripping or was that kind of like brightening just me I don't know this brush is also by real techniques one of my holy grail brushes 
love it to death for eyeliner today i am going to use the nyx um matte liquid liner in black obviously i'm pretty sure yeah it's just called black and this one is a little bit dried out so hopefully it gets the job done because i need to buy a new one but i just haven't had the chance to unfortunately anyways i can't talk for this so yeah i just gonna have to observe i don't want to cover it good start such a baby wing i'm trying to decide if i should like make it bigger if i was a liar i would totally just like use my anastasia eyeliner right now and say i use this but you know what i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna fight because you know what sometimes it'd be like that sometimes your eyeliner is dry and you need a new one and you can't you don't have another one and you gotta work with what you got so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna show y'all anything is possible see how like little product is coming out right now okay so this is what the eyeliner came out like i actually think it looks pretty good for a dried clumpy eyeliner but now i'm just gonna apply lashes and the lashes i'm currently obsessed with are these this is my second time repurchasing them i think these are literally so perfect like when you put them on they just look like lash extensions to me so i feel like if you want to look like you have lashes like extensions without actually paying like 85 dollars and they are drugstore, of course. I didn't even mention the name. Way to go. Um, the Kiss So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl. And I think it's the number 11 one. Um, but yeah, I love that. I think it's about like $8 on Amazon, but it's like 12 at Ulta. So be smart when you shop. Forgot to mention, also the glue that I am loving to apply lashes is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Um, oh wait, no. Is this Kiss or Lash Couture? Isn't that the same thing? I don't know but it's six dollars at ulta it looks like this obviously mine is super beat it's clear as well but i absolutely love it just look at these lashes y'all are they not the like freaking cutest thing ever so i actually have two kind of like base products that i'm going to use today before my foundation the first one is this i Heart revolution watermelon dewy makeup fixing spray um so this is kind of like a mac fix plus i would say so you can technically use it as like um primer setting spray like in between like kind of thing um so yeah i'm just gonna spray this all over my face and if you've watched my uh summer glowy makeup video which if you haven't you should watch it um i use this product and i really like it and i love the smell like truthfully and look at the glow 10 out of 10. the second product that i'm using that <laughs> the second product that i'm using is the elf holy hydration eye cream with hyaluronic acid it looks like this your standard little like eye cream thing um and i just put this under my eyes because it's also supposed to like sort of brighten and as you can see i have like pretty bad um, under eyes so yeah i'm not sure if i've noticed a huge difference with this but i mean i'm just gonna keep using it anyway so i'm gonna show y'all i need to put these lower for i get foundation all up in my straightened hair we shall continue okay so i feel like my skin is looking pretty red right now so i'm just gonna color correct just a tiny bit um to see if i can reverse this redness i'm gonna be using this nyx color correcting palette um and i'm just gonna be taking some of the green i think i'll just use my finger honestly and i'm kind of just gonna like dab this onto my cheeks because that's where i have most of my redness but i don't want to do too much because the foundations that i'm doing are not like super full coverage so for the amount of redness that I have, I really feel like that color correcting definitely helped with like not showing it as much. So we lit, but anywho, it is now time for concealer again. Honestly, I love concealing anything. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using two shades today. This is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me once again in the shade 20 and this is 15. And with the 20, I'm just gonna go in and put like the smallest amount under my eye basically like just right here where i have like the most darkness because it's going to help cancel out that darkness and then i'm going to go over on the rest of my under eye with the 15 which is like more of my actual shade 
Another like little tip that I do is I let my concealer dry a little bit before blending it out so that I have more coverage with it. And I'm gonna be using this Real Techniques um, beauty sponge. I need to wash it, but I'll just use the other side because I'm smart like that. So, anywho, I'm just gonna blend this out and I'm gonna keep, I'm literally not gonna like go this way like I would if it were my other shade. I'm just gonna pat it in right here because that's where I have like the purple undertones because your girl will be needing sleep. The placement today for my concealer was kind of sloppy, but like, you get, you get the idea, you know. So I'm just blending this upwards. I forgot I like don't like using sponges, cause look, it like starts lifting my foundation. I was not that red earlier. Oh, shit, irritating. I also just added some a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I don't like doing the bridge of my nose too much because I have freckles. So I don't like to cover them, but at the same time, like if I don't, then like my nose looks darker than the rest of my body or the rest of my face. And it looks like really stupid. First world problems. So I would normally do a little bit of cream brush, blush and bronzer, but today I kind of just don't feel like it. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use powder version of those products. But some of my favorites, if you are a bigger fan of the cream ones are the ColourPop blush sticks or the Morphe 2 um, cream blush. Love that. And then you can obviously just use like any concealer to cream bronzer. I know they do have cream bronzers, but I haven't tried any. So, yeah. So before I go in with those other products, I'm just going to bake my face or kind of set it in place so that, um, you know, it has like a nice little base for the other products. So I'm using, again, the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I'm kind of scared to use this on my skin, but we're going to find out what the real spill is. out because I don't bake oh wow oh my oh my god are y'all seeing this Ew, okay mm, I feel like my skin is looking like 50 different shades right now like right here and then right here and then right here but hopefully the bronzing and blush will bring it back together For bronzer today, I'm using the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this Real Techniques, why do I keep saying that? And this BH Cosmetics uh, brush number two from their white and black marble set. And hopefully, ooh, not this brush. Hopefully we can put this back together because I don't know what's going on. So obviously I'm baking right now and I look disgusting, but it's time for blush. And I just got this new blush palette by Makeup Revolution. It's so cute. Just look at these colors and like the flamingos, cute as fuck. So I'm not sure which color I want to go with. Honestly, like this is so beautiful, but I feel like this would look so much better on deeper skin tones. On me, I'd probably look like a clown. So I'm just going to mix the first two a little peachy moment and then with this uh beige cosmetics ooh, that is pigmented um this is the number three brush from their white and black marble collection and i'm just gonna blend this upwards because we want to lift our face we don't want to look like a clown put it in the center of our faces and this is definitely like hella pigmented bro what I swear, I feel like I have no need to buy like high-end blushes when like I can find this stuff for like eight dollars for three. Like, madam. And then I'm gonna put some on my nose because that's always cute. You feel me? This is so cute. Like this blush is it. Go get it, y'all. It was like eight dollars. So y'all know I don't really be going crazy on lips, but I'm gonna be using um the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Blushing. Honestly, I just do this to kind of give like my lips like back some color. So I kind of just like barely line them. Like just so you can see the shape of my lips again. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it blends in with the foundation. Granted, I could just wipe it off, but I'm gonna be applying some lip gloss. This is as drugstore as it gets, okay? Go to any beauty supply store and these will be $1. So that's what I'm using. I'm just gonna so I 
can get some gloss in our lives. Why does it look like that? Mmm, I forgot to blend that lip liner. <laughs> nice. So honestly, I didn't really want to do highlighter today, but I guess I will do a little bit because I feel like I'm looking a little matte. Um, so I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette. This is the Solstice one, and this is literally an oldie but a goodie. I think it's so pigmented. I feel like this is kind of more like 2016, like blinding glazed donut kind of thing. But if you just go light with it, like you'll be alright, you know? So I'm just going to barely tap into it. And then, like look. That was like what? Nothing. Okay, yeah, so I'm done. Oh my god, my stomach keeps growling. I'm so hungry. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face one more time because I feel like that powder has been looking a little matte, even though I do have highlight on. You know. Wouldn't kill to look a little dewy. Tell me why I'm in the middle of recording this video, or not recording, editing this video, and I'm like, where's my outro? It didn't record. <laughs> so mad. But if you guys enjoyed the look that you had seen in the video, um, and if I hopefully put you guys on to some new drugstore products, then please, please, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I'm really sorry this happened. I don't know why it did, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.